The peace of the Lord be with you, and good evening. This is our devotion for Monday, November 27th, and um, we are at the, the first Sunday in Advent this, this coming Sunday. So we'll be starting the, uh, the, new, the new church year. And um, so with that, uh, there are a couple of options that you can, you can have for that. Uh, one is, is focus, uh, focusing on, uh, on the end of time. The other is, is, is the triumphal entry, which is a, a, the traditional reading. So I, I went ahead and uh, we'll, be, we'll be looking at the traditional triumphal entry reading. However, this is Series B coming up, so we're, we're currently using the three-year lectionary. Uh, series A sort of focuses on Matthew, and Series B focuses more on Mark. So we'll be, uh, we'll be looking at the triumphal entry from Mark chapter 11, verses 1 through 10. And um, I'll be getting this out in the early evening, so we'll follow the early evening order, page 297 in the hymnal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, for you are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. All right, Mark 11, verse 1. Now when they drew near to Jerusalem, to Bethphage and Bethany, at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately as you enter it, you will find a colt tied, on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it. If anyone says to you, Why are you doing this? Say, The Lord has need of it, and will send it back here immediately. And they went away and found a colt tied at a door outside in the street, and they untied it. And some of those standing said to them, What are you doing untying the colt? And they told them what Jesus had said, and they let them go. And they brought the colt to Jesus, and threw their cloaks on it, and he sat on it. And many spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut from the fields. And those who went before and those who followed were shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Blessed is the king, coming kingdom of our father David! Hosanna in the highest! Let us pray. Blessed Lord Jesus Christ, as you entered into Jerusalem, uh, you, you, you came to the accolades of the people, and, um, and they so rightfully called for you to save us. We give you thanks that you have come that you have entered into this world, that you have come, and that you have uh, done so to bear our sin and to be our Savior, that you would, in fact, save us. And as we look forward to, uh, to, to your return, and as we look forward to celebrating your first coming in this time of year, we pray that you would bless us with hearts that are ever inclined toward, toward looking to that coming and toward the joy that is ours because you have come, that you would save us. And save us then, Lord, as you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right, uh, so, so obviously this is a, a, a very familiar passage, and, um, uh, you know, it's obviously one oriented toward, uh, or we, we, we connect it in so many ways, and I probably say this every, every year I've done the, the devotion for this, but, but we, we, we reflect on it as being oriented toward the crucifixion. Right, and and that's that's important, and um, but uh, but this time of year, it's it's the, the the first Sunday in Advent, right? And of course, Advent means coming, and so this is uh, this is here because of that uh, of Jesus coming into Jerusalem, and and, and then uh, blessed is Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, and that's what Christ has done, right? He has, he has entered into this world, he's come into this world, and, and, he, and he has done so to, to save us, right? Um, now, as we, as we look at the, the, the lesson itself here, uh, you know, now when they drew near to Jerusalem, to Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately as you enter it, you will find a colt tied on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it. If anyone says to you, why are you doing this? Say, the Lord has need of it, and we'll send it back here immediately. So, um, so, so as, they send, as they send him, right, or as he sends them, excuse me, um, you know, this is, uh, they're, they're coming from, from, from east of Jerusalem. Uh, you know, it's, it's not, I don't know if we know exactly, well, let me see here. Uh, 
you get them coming from Jericho and uh, in, in Mark here, uh, and I'm not sure that's in, in, in 1046. So they're, so they're coming from, from the east. We'll, we'll just we'll stop there. Right, so Jericho is, is due east, basically, out of Jerusalem, and it's, and it's down in, in the valley by the Dead Sea almost. And so, uh, so, so Jesus has, has come into the city, and, and Bethphage and Bethany are, are right there. Uh, you know, Bethany is the home of, of Lazarus and, and um, Mary and Martha. Uh, gosh, it's something like... like Five or six miles east of, of, of the city, um, some something like that. But in, but in any case, so they 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 come through there, and uh, and as they as they do, then uh, they, they come down. And and, and the, the Mount of Olives is this this significant hill that's just east of, of the temple. You can you, we, we you know I, I think you know that uh, uh, I, I was able to, to go to to Israel uh, a couple of years ago, almost a couple of years ago. And, and as, as we, we, one of the things that we did was we were able to, to walk down the Mount of Olives. It was really neat. And you can see, so you can see, and you, you can look down into the, to the, to the Temple Mount, and um, you really see all of, all of Jerusalem at that point, right? So, so as, as they're, 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 they come down, uh, where, where this village is, I, I don't know where, where that would be. At this point in time, the, the whole mountain is, is uh, the whole side of the mountain is, is just, it's covered in, in, in uh, it's been built up, right? But at the, at the bottom is where you get the, um, the Garden of Gethsemane. Uh, that's so there's still they still have that there, and the olive trees and, and, and that sort of thing. There. So um, so you can picture Jesus coming down, and, and as he does this. Um, uh, sorry, I was looking looking at what we were. Oh, here we go. Uh, so yeah, Bethphage is a village on the Mount of Olives, about one mile from the Jerusalem Temple, and Bethany is on the eastern slope, so it's over the mountain, it's about two miles from Jerusalem. So that's, there, there you go, the, the distance. So anyway, they come through those, and, and he sends them ahead, and, uh, and of course there's the significance then of the, the cult itself, and, and it's, it's a cult that hasn't been, been broken, uh, it has not been ridden before, so the fact that Jesus would write it so easily, you can, you can make a connection to his dominion over creation, uh, something that's broken right by the fall into sin. Uh, in the beginning, Adam has dominion over the creatures, Jesus is, is restoring this. Uh, you know, now, now when it comes to, to the owner, the, them saying the Lord has need of it, exactly how that works, that could be utterly miraculous, we don't know, or it could be something that the disciples know, that uh, somebody that knows Jesus, and, and, and so it, it's, that, that works, right? So then they come and they spread their cloaks on the road, and this is this is a welcoming and, and praise of, of Jesus, and leafy branches that they had cut. Um, you know, this uh, obviously this, this is associated with the palms, um, but... Uh, and I see another note. I'm going to cross reference here, right? Um, so, so we all, the the commentary I was reading beforehand um, made a connection to, to straw with sacrifices. I guess that the word there relates to, to straw, possibly. And um, this is saying that branches, particularly palms, were used to adorn processions, especially religious ones. And then. Um, so then they so they have the branches and then they're going before him and of course this is what I referenced in the prayer Hosanna save us blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord and that's that's Christ he has come in the name of the Lord and he has entered into this world this we're looking at this advent right he's entered into this world and and blessed us and and saved us um, and he's done so you know and this is what I'll draw more in the um, in, in, in the uh, the sermon I'm expecting or I'm planning to that that uh, he. he, he he does this in this humility, right? The, the, the cult is associated with Zechariah where it says, Behold, your king comes to you humble and riding on a donkey. Uh, the commentary I read noted that, that, that there's that humility of trusting in the Lord. Uh, that's where the, where the other Israelite kings had messed up. They started to trust in their own power, and Christ is the one who trusts in his Father perfectly. And, um, and, and, and what, what humility is, that this is the humility, the humility of God showing his love for us. You know, we think of God so much in terms of power, and this is, this is the power made perfect in weakness and the, the beauty of that, so that we call out to him in that weakness, and, and he rescues us. And um, that's what we're looking at this Advent season, is the, the Savior of the nations coming to us, entering into this world, saving us out of that great love. Amen. All right, we continue with the, uh, with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 
Lord Jesus, stay with us for the evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our constant companion on the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken help among us that we may recognize you as you are revealed in the scriptures and in the breaking of the bread. Grant this for your name's sake. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.